the reason they were doing it is because they they knew that in on the surface of Mars mm-hmm. uh, there were there are tremendous dust devils, ones that make the dwarf anything here on Earth, <laughs> and they wanted to know what's why, what makes them, what 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 are their properties, yeah. and uh, they discovered that there were some very strange electrical effects happening right underneath those and up in the core of them. <laughs> so <laughs> there are all sorts of, of electrical paths from the way upper atmosphere down to the surface of Earth. Interesting. So is this ca- some kind of uh, c- cosmological t- discharge going on here, or <laughs> why, why is this happening? I mean, well, yeah, you know? nothing magical. I mean, it's it's if there's a difference in in uh, accumulated charge, if you get a bunch of negative charges over here and a bunch of positive charges over there, they're going to want to come together. Yeah, and sure. Current, there'll be a drift, and uh, yeah, it's just in figuring out why they why they got separated and why where they are and what they're <laughs> going to do and not a lot of people have been studying this sort of thing yeah yeah but as it, i say it's 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 just plain old hard science there's nothing magical about it yeah exactly but uh, you do have to study it otherwise you're going to be amazed by it and say gee whiz what is that that's that's strange yeah uh, absolutely uh i read somewhere that the earth actually is uh, negatively charged is this correct Yeah. Kind of like <laughs> saying, um, oh, uh, the, the analogy I give is, is what is it, what is the velocity of this fly, this little insect flying around inside the cabin of a of a of a jet aircraft at thirty seven thousand feet? <laughs> And the answer is, well, it's either five hundred miles an hour with respect to the Earth's surface, yeah. or it's one mile an hour with respect to the seats in the cabin. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting, and uh, couldn't we kind of connect it, this with uh, uh, when you know, f- I guess, foreign <laughs> to our solar system, uh, at least foreign comets come into our uh, uh, system? Because I've seen a few of the uh, SOHO images um, 
that photographs the sun, of course, that uh, it, it seems to, to me uh, some instances look like the, there is a, a discharge between comets and, and the sun. Have you? Have you oh, absolutely. Absolutely, oh. yeah. Well, I think one of the best uh, pieces of evidence that the uh, Alfian and uh, Birkeland and uh, Langmuir and all the rest of the, the, the fathers of plasma cosmology were correct mm. it are comets. Uh, if you uh, and my my friend Walt Thornhill, who you mentioned earlier, mm -hmm. uh, made a uh, a fantastic prediction with it proved to be correct uh, in regard to this um, a couple of years ago. I think it was in 2004, perhaps 2005. Uh, NASA decided to throw a block of copper at an incoming comet. Remember that? Yeah, yeah, sure. It yeah. was called Deep Impact. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, video of this 